My name is Robin Green. I'm the Refrigeration Product and Training Manager for FSW here in the UK. And in this video, we're going to do a quick unboxing of the Navtech NP4 DLM 4CFM cordless vacuum pump. Let's take a look. Okay, so I've taken the bag itself out of the case, so drop that out of the way and we'll take a closer look at what you get for your money. We have a, um, a nice quality um, ballistic nylon carry bag, okay, with a shoulder strap that uh, can be removed if you prefer. And there you go, relatively easy to carry or makes it easier to carry the most back pumps. Um, and to, oh, sorry, you've got two little pockets for storing little bits of uh, valve cores or um, other bits and pieces or a, a, a core remover, one on either side. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's undo the bag and see what we got. So if we open it up and tip it towards you, you can see the oil. Um, we've got the charger, we've got the battery stored in the bottom there, and then we've got the vacuum pump itself. So let's take out the pump. There she is. Let's take out the battery. And on this model, we have a nine amp hour battery compared to the five amp hour on the 2CFM model, which I'll do a little bit of a comparison now. There we go. Okay, so there's the battery itself. Clicking in on the end of the pump. So there's now you can see the full size of the cordless pumps. Very, very compact, very neat, okay. Uh, the charger, there she is. That's the same charger that comes with both the cordless Navtech vac pumps. Put that on one side. Um, obviously the can of oil. Um, like I said, we've already, um, I've already filled the can to do the little test, okay? But that's the can you get for it. There's a little bit left over. Um, there we go. Let me see if I can show you this in a bit more detail. So there's the interior of the bag, okay, for you to store the little bits and pieces in. Handy because the bag keeps it secured in the bed of the van or on the shelf, wherever you put it, and protects the pump. Now, let's take a pump, look at the pump in slightly more detail. So some of the features on the pump is obviously the, the, the real big benefit is the cordless versatility. Um, we've got a um, carry or lifting hook on the back, but having said that, uh, this thing is so light, you could carry this up a ladder, but it does make it easier if you've got to hoist it up onto a roof, etc. Oil fill cap on this side, and also on this side, we've got a gas ballast valve, okay? Well, I'll go into what they are about in another video when I do some more technical tests comparing it to a standard um, 4 CFM vac pump and the 2 CFM cordless, okay? Um, <clears throat> quite a nice little feature on this that the 2CFM doesn't have. The 4 has a quarter, a 3.8 and a half inch inlet port on there. And this also, the same as the 2CFM, has the quarter shut off valve on the top, okay? Uh, same as the 2CFM, you get a, what they call a three minute warning. So when the battery is due to shut itself off, um, when you run, sorry, when you're due to run out of power, it starts beeping and you've got three minutes to shut the valve off, otherwise you lose your evacuation, okay? There is no, there's not a one way return valve, but you'll know from experience if you watch my other videos that you can adapt any vac pump to have a um, one of the CPS uh, non-return valves on if you're sure but she beeps enough and generally th these take so little time if you're using the right hoses to evacuate the system you're not wandering off because it's taking hours to evacuate okay so um, on the front we've got our oil drain plug and we've got a very nice large um, oil uh, sight glass on the front of it okay so that's it guys that's really a quick overview of the um, MP4 DLM uh, cordless vac pump from Navtech and just quickly let me bring in the 2CFM so you can see the subtle difference in sizes. The 4 is slightly bigger um, and obviously gives you that much more capacity. One of the questions I get asked most about these cordless back pumps is how long the battery time lasts and 
do I need to buy another battery? Well, my answer to that is, as always, is not necessary. I don't think you should buy another battery. Um, the runtime on both these machines is roughly just under an hour. Um, bizarrely, the little 2CFM run, run, will run slightly longer on some occasions. This will run on average about 55 minutes. This will get to about 58 minutes, okay? So you've got roughly just under an hour's runtime. However, what I would suggest and what I would preach to you is, is that you would invest that money that you would pay for another battery into larger high capacity hoses, okay? So what we offer you at FSW is the, um, what we call the Navtech high flow evacuation hoses. Um, they, are, they have a four CFM capacity because the internal diameter is half an inch. I don't know whether you know this, but I've mentioned this many times that if you use quarter hoses, that, that will only give you 0.5 CFM extraction rate where these give you 4 CFM. And the other thing you need to buy in order for these to work is that you need a core removal tool. So please get used to using a core removal tool, removing the cores because the cores block 90% of the flow rate when you're evacuating, charging and recovering, okay? So yeah, so there's my answer. Don't buy another battery, buy a core removal tool on one of these hoses and you'll get the full capacity out of this. Otherwise, you're simply buying a bigger vac pump to use on a quarter hose that will only give you 0.5 CFM. If that's the case, you may as well buy one of these and, and, and not waste your money on a bigger vac pump ever. So let's, you know, this, this is the answer moving forward is the high flow hoses, core removal tools, and this, battery, this uh, vacuum pump with one battery and the same goes for the little 2CFM and you're away to go. So um, thanks for watching. Um, I'll be doing some more technical, much more detailed videos on the evacuation times of the pump against a little dumpy yellow top to show you uh, how they perform. If you want to buy one of these, you can pop into any one of the um, 24 FSW branches around the UK or uh, order online for next working day delivery at fsw.uk.com. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you all again soon. Bye bye.